Hey guys. All right, folks, we're here today to check out a Patreon request from this patrono right here. The name of the band is Hex. The name of the song is Stigma Diabali. Sounds like a Power Wolf song. I don't know. Yeah, you know. Doesn't it? It, do it does, it does. It has a little bit of a Power Wolf feel to it, you know? Yeah. Armata Strigoi, Stigma, Up Your Ass, wh wh whatever. You know those Power Wolf songs, you know? Uh, Revenge with a Vengeance, or what was it, the other one, the Jerking Off one? The, the Jerking Off one, yes. Ah, the, fuck, what's the name of that it one? It was a Resurrection by Erection. Exactly. I refer to it as the Jerk Off song. I mean, many do. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not alone. I'm sure I'm not alone. All right, Hexed, Stigma, Diaboli, Patreon request, are you ready? Yeah. Let's fucking do it. Let's see what this is all about. Bit of a power wolf feel.
great find. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, dude. What do you think? You know what I'm going to say? I don't, but I'll find out shortly. Yeah, well, this 9.5 out of 10. There was one thing that could have gotten it to its 10. Okay, what was that? And that is A in breakdown? the chorus. No, in the chorus. Cowbell? No. Harsh vocal? In the chorus, a high note. A perfectly placed high note. At least at the last chorus. At least at, no, no. I'm talking Not about, every chorus, but at least at the even, last chorus. Okay, but even at the last chorus, I just needed one. I, I, w I would have enjoyed it for every course because for every for the it, for the it, chorus it could, have, it could have it could have gone after there. the first run, and then you do instead of going with the next line, I know, you, like, you do one ooh but with a higher one of those black ninjas. No, no, no! It's more of a beautiful high note. Okay, so more like because black like ninjas more Papa Dupolos when he when he eats a, a tub of oikos. Sure, I mean I'll go with that. But there's so many other things that I can say. Where there's songs that have uh, the first part of the line, a lot of songs. Do, first when part she of was the line. going run. Yeah, yeah, and then after run, instead of going straight to the next line of the chorus, you do a line of just ooh, but with with ah. Uh, no, 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 with the high note. Okay. And and making it start off high and then slowly dropping down with a beauty, and then you hit us with the next verse. If they did that, ten out of ten. Because when I'm listening to the song. I was thinking about it. And when I was thinking about it, I'm like, fuck, it would sound so good just to add that high note. Because the way she was pushing her voice, I don't know if she can hit well, that. Well, that's the other point. We don't know, we don't we don't know, know. her range. We right? don't know. But what I do know is that high note, oh, that for me, that high note makes it a 10 out of 10. You yeah, need the, I, I, I wasn't I, thinking about it, but now that you're mentioning it. That was the first thing I thought about when I heard the chorus for the first time after her run. That's what I thought she was going to do. But then she didn't. And then as it kept going, I'm like, I feel like, you know, it's so good, but I feel like something's missing here. And if even if they only put in the last chorus, I would have been happy. I think, but the, for I me, mean, in the last chorus the, would make, uh, I'm not more saying sense. that you can it put it on every right? chorus, but in the last chorus kind of makes more, it sense make more sense to finish off on that, on the, with a banger. It would make more sense. But, but, having it, the, but, but. Then again, the the song itself. But the, if you're gonna do it in the in the end, that means you can do it on a consistent basis. Then you might as well just do it all the time. Because consistent, the song is very consistent. Yeah, very very consistent. So having it all throughout and having it at the last, it wouldn't make a difference because the song without yeah, the it song is, is the exact very, same. The song is very balanced. It's it's very balanced, but it's also repetitive in a good way. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not so, boring. So having it at the last chorus, cool. It switches it up, but would that really ch that would change it up from what it is now? To elevate it, I'm putting in every chorus. And, and at least uh, only once, because it's so beautiful. It's such what I would think it would be it would be beautiful, just to add it there. Yeah, not that it's not the song's not beautiful. No, now, no, no, the song is beautiful now. But you're just talking about taking it to the next level. Taking it to the next level, and there's one little thing. I don't have any other gripes. No, there, there, there's nothing else to. There's nothing else to gripe about the song. The song is, other than that, perfect, a amazing, catchy chorus that. Just plays with you. I like the fact that it starts off with with that piano. Like I, I was even saying, Ooh, a little bit power wolf. We're talking yeah, yeah, about yeah. it. And then it, it the, not that the piano is not there throughout the song, but it's not there with the same impact, that same bombastic impact that it has at the beginning and that it has it at the end again. So I always love when a song kind of goes full, full circle. circle. Yeah. And this song definitely offers that with the beginning and then with the end, and kind of sprinkles a little bit of the keyboards in the middle, but not in a way that it's like very noticeable i like the fact that the, the the track while being symphonic in nature it allows the drums and guitars to have some heaviness to have some power to to push the song forward i i always feel like you can create big epic sounding songs and not depend just on on the orchestrations or symphonic elements in order to do so you can do it with with thickness on the guitars thickness on the drums put some heaviness into it let those elements also breathe and, and become a little bigger within the song. Don't just throw all of this orchestration and stuff in order to create this epic atmosphere. Because when you do too much of that, it actually, it does make the song big, but it also makes the song very thin. And then when you make the song very thin, even though it's big, it kind of loses a little bit of that bigness, if, if you know what I mean. So I like the fact that the song does have the orchestrations, it does have the keyboards, it does have that symphonic epic feel. You know what I mean to it? 
but at the same time, it still has heaviness. It still has great drum sound. It still has great guitars. The guitar solo, really cool. It fit perfectly in the overall mood and design of the song. So musically, I honestly don't think there's anything to say. Now, one can claim, oh, it's kind of repetitive. But that's what makes it super catchy that's and super hooky. Yeah. And it's not repetitive in a bad way that you get bored of it. Because the song is not overly long, so you don't... You, you know, it doesn't really overstay its welcome. When the song is, is well put together and has great sound, it's not boring. And the chorus is long, man. Yeah, but the, but you're always kind of waiting for that chorus because that yeah. chorus is... Even though the chorus is the main... is It's also like at least 85% of the song is chorus because the chorus itself is pretty long. Um, somehow it makes you wanting more even though it's most of the song. Yeah. It's most, yeah. Um, but, it, also, but it always has this... This feeling like you you just enjoyed something that's really good, and when you enjoy something that's really good, you're always ready to enjoy a little bit more of whatever that yeah, is. Yeah. And the chorus kind of has that feel, but the chorus has that feel not just because of how it sounds musically, but because of how she sings. Her voice is really good. Yeah, great singer, great voice, great tone, great delivery. Maybe missing that one note there. Either but that outside listen, of that, but she's still a great. We singer. don't know if she can hit the high notes. Right? That is true. So, but what I will say is, there's two there's two end games in this song, right? There's the one high note per chorus, or there's the progressional chorus where every time you kind of step your game up, just it goes a little, a little bit. bit, and then once you hit the last chorus, that's when you just go, go balls, balls deep. Up. Yeah, you just balls deep into the chorus. There's those two ways. Would I enjoy both ways? Yes. Would I like the whole progression system? Of course. Even though there's those two ways that I would enjoy both, I still would actually enjoy the one note more. But there are those two options there. It, you if know, you are going to go in the high note range. You know what I route. thought was really interesting about this song be is that when I'm listening to this track, I, I, that opening kind of... Because we were talking about Power, Power Wolf. Wolf yeah. When that opening came, I was like, ah, you know, Power Wolf. But the more I listened to this song, the more I thought about Epica. And even Delane. Like, not, not, not the new single from Delane. I'm talking about, like... Charlotte Vessel's era of Delane. Um, and, and when I was listening to it, I was like, I hope they don't throw some harsh vocals in here. Because then it would totally be like an epic ripoff. And, and, I, and I think you, you want to create something that falls within the, the wheelhouse of fans of those bands. Because you want the fans of those bands to listen to your music. I mean, that's the whole point of being within the same kind of genre. Is you, you want to cross-pollinate and, and capture fans from other bands. But at the same time, you want to have your own identity your own sound your your own music and in a song like this it had like all the hallmarks that i could see like instead of having that high note maybe coming with some backing vocals harsh backing vocals and i'm not saying that it wouldn't work but in my opinion would have taken the song a step back not a step forward it would have taken the song a step back not because it wouldn't make the song good just because it would remind me too much of of, of an epic track and, and i and i think for for a song like this you really don't want to you don't want to mess around with the vocal performance. Her vocals are so good. Let's just let her just do her yes. thing. Yes. So I was happy that there was no harsh vocals. I'd rather go with your with your idea yes. than than inserting any yes. harsh vocals. I, in. I can agree with you. I can agree with you. But the, the, it did cross my mind. Uh, uh, the harsh vocals never crossed my mind with this. No, it didn't cross my sure. mind in terms of, of but, but, they should be there. That's not what I'm but, saying. But, but, but if, they could have been they are they, there. Yes. Yeah, they could have been there. Uh, but how many me, bands? How many bands would make a song like this and they would throw them in there? Of course. A lot of bands would have done that. But Never did I think they were going to ha happen, harsh vocals. No, no, I didn't think about it either. The high note is what I thought would happen. And I, thought, I thought we were going to get it in the last verse, uh, yeah, the last or chorus, her, I should or, say. Or her just changing up and going fully all out instead of just one high note, right? But I think the one high note for uh, after the run in every chorus, getting that one line of uh, just a beautiful from the top. Just, and then just it, going to the peak. It, yeah, you start at the peak and then you slowly... Kind of work your yourself way down. down, yeah, like a ribbon. Um, then you just continue off. I think that's the perfect. That for me turns the song from a nine out of uh, a nine point five out of ten to a ten out of ten. Okay, perfect. I don't disagree with you at all. Th but this was a great fucking find. I, I mean, I had never heard of this band before until today, until we press play on this video. So great find. Thank you to the Patrono that requested this video, this song. Thank you all of you for watching. Let us know your thoughts on this band, on this track. Hit us up in the comment section. We'll see you all at the next video. See ya.